Human Physiology, Chapter One, Digestion and Absorption. The digestive system of humans consists of an elementary canal and an associated digestive glands. The elementary canal consists of the mouth, buccal cavity, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and the anus. The accessory digestive gland include the salivary glands, the liver with gallbladder and pancreas. Inside the mouth, the teeth masticate the food. The tongue tastes the food and manipulates it for proper mastication by mixing with saliva. Saliva contains a starch digestive enzyme, salivary amylase. They digest the starch. starch and converts it into maltose disaccharide the food then passes into pharynx and enters the esophagus in the form of bolus which is further carried down through the esophagus by peristalsis into the stomach in stomach mainly protein digestion take place absorption of simple sugars alcohol and medicines also take place in the stomach the chyme food enters into the duodenum portion of small intestine and is acted on by pancreatic juice bile and finally by the enzymes in sucrose entericus so that the digestion of carbohydrates proteins and fats is completed the food then enters into the jejunum and ileum portion of the small intestine carbohydrates are digested and converted into monosaccharides like glucose proteins are finally broken down into amino acids the fats are converted into fatty acids and glycerol the digest end products are absorbed into the body through epithelial lining of intestinal villi the undigested food feces enter into the cecum of the large intestine through ileocecal wall which prevent the back flow of fecal matter most of the water is absorbed in the large intestine the undigested food becomes semi solid in nature and then enters into the rectum and anal canal and is finally ingested out through the anus